colour again. Just ready now for the last little bit now. Quite a lot of progress made since the last time you saw me. This is six days on now. And I've done all the carving now. It's all ready just to be painted, so we'll get to that in a minute. But I'll show you where we are. I think it's quite bright today, so as you can see, the door's been done. Uh, like wooden slats, little hinges on it. A bit closer. There you go. And as you can see, I've got bricks all the way around. I did think about drawing them on, but I've actually carved them all in. I'll tell you about. I'll tell you, I did that in a minute. Cowling's finished. A little bit chipped. I've learnt a lot doing it. This, doing this. <coughs> Excuse me. I've learnt quite a lot doing this. So when I make my next one, then it'll be a lot, a lot bigger. I think a bit taller. It'll be the same circumference, but it'll be a bit bigger. And as you can see, like I've said I've got bricks all the way around there, and tiles all the way around. And how I did that was I got a pencil. I want to show you, but I scrolled a line round. Scroll the line round, all the way around the pencil line. I made a cut with my detail knife that I showed you before. Oh, that's better. Right, there we go. Yeah, my detail knife. And chipped each line. I carved the line all the way around, sliced it in, and then did little cuts all the way around. Until I achieved grooves all the way around, all the way up. Once I've done that, I then went to my V tool. You can see, uh, yeah, to see a V on it there, and then chipped each individual brick up. I think I estimate it's about 550 to 600 bricks here, and um, that alone took about three hours. But I, uh, my son said, "Don't you get bored with that?" I said, "No, it's really therapeutic." It really is. And the same with the roof the tiles. As you can see this is very um yeah. Same same thing. Drew a line all the way around, scored it with a knife, then cut it all up with a detail knife, chipped them all up in a line, and then at the end use the beetle all the way up. Cowling's finished as you can see. Made a little, I think they call it, it's a vein of some description there. It's going bright and dark. And chipped it out of my, one of my scrap bits of wood, in fact, this bit out there. Chipped it off the corner there. Made a little V in it. Made a little cut in there. It's not glued in yet. I won't glue it until it's finished and it's been painted. Uh, so, like I said, now the next stage is painting. All I use now is acrylics, various acrylics. Line, rather. All different colours there. I'll use them for the red, brick, red and red and a darker red, really, for the tiles. So red brick for the red for the bricks, dark red for the tiles. And afterwards, I'll antique it, which means it makes it look old. This is one of the little figures I made last year. There he is. Let's get in there. Yeah, there he is. He's not got it's got very bright colours when I actually made him, but then you, you cover him in this antiquing fluid. Here came away from America because I saw it online, and uh, it makes him look a little bit old. You can see there's little bits, of, it looks like dirt in the creases. You can see a bit of blue, I think, yeah, and then the back of his legs. And that's what I'll do with that, and it'll make it look like an old building. It's like what uh, modelers who do railways and things like that call weathering, but it's in antiquing, it's the same thing. So I'll come back to that when I start doing the painting. Well, I've chosen this red. I'll see what it looks like. It's a nice colour. It looks a sort of brick colour. I'll sort of compare it with my house brick colour. It's called Scarlet Lake. So I'm going to do the walls with that first. Uh, the brickwork all the way around. Uh, see what that looks like. Uh, it'll obviously double down when I antique it. So that should be a good effect. Uh, just use normal acrylic paints, as like I said before, and proper acrylic brushes. Any artist brushes that can use acrylic. What you, just what you choose to buy and what you choose to use. So I'll squeeze a bit in my palette, probably water it down a little bit, make it 
go further because uh, it looks more washed rather than too deep a colour. Uh, I'll paint the walls, I won't show it because it will just go on and on. And I'll come back to you when the walls are done, or the wall is done. Right, that's the painting done, or the bulk of it done anyway. Let's have a look. Actually, a little brown door, red bricks, darker roof, the white cowling. A little bit bold that red brick colour I think and I really am going to dull that down with the uh, antique but first this must dry um, so I'll give it a chance to dry off and then I'll show you the antique in a minute I just want to show you it before and after and then it'll be virtually done probably do a little few features on the door make the door look a bit more realistic with some hinges and a little handle there's a little handle carved about there you can see the hinges in the the light there. So it didn't take long. I mean, all in all, I think this has taken probably about five hours to do this. That's a bit longer. Once the antiquing is done, it's finished. The uh, display shelf, I think this one, I'm quite pleased with that. So, so I've chosen this red. I'll see what it looks like. It's a nice colour. It looks a sort of brick colour. I'll sort of compare it with my house brick colour. It's called Scarlet Lake. So I'm going to do the walls with that first, uh, the brickwork all the way around, and see what that looks like. And it'll obviously double down when I antique it, so that should be a good effect. Uh, just use normal acrylic paints, like I said before, and proper acrylic brushes. Any artist brushes that can use acrylic, it's what you, it's what you choose to buy and what you choose to use. So I'll squeeze a bit in my palette, probably water it down a little bit, make it go further. Because uh, it looks more washed rather than too deep a colour. Uh, I'll paint the walls, I won't show it because it'll just go on and on. And I'll come back to you when the walls are done, or the wall is done. Right, that's the painting done, or the bulk of it done anyway. Let's have a look. Actually, a little brown door, red bricks, darker roof, the white cowling. A little bit bold that red brick colour I think and I really am going to dull that down with the uh, antique but first this must dry um, so I'll give it a chance to dry off and then I'll show you the antique in a minute I just want to show you it before and after and then it'll be virtually done probably do a little few features on the door make the door look a bit more realistic with some hinges and a little handle there's a little handle carved about there you can see the hinges in the there. So it didn't take long. I mean, all in all, I think this has taken probably about five hours to do this. That's a bit longer. And once the antiquing is done, it's finished. The uh, display shelf, I think, this one, I'm quite pleased with that.